Who's the dick? This game is at the center of our customer service mentality here at Rossman Group. And allow me to explain the game of Who's the Dick, how we play it, and the role that it plays in our customer service. I'll, let me explain this through example. Let's say somebody has one bad sector on their hard drive. So they come in for preventative maintenance, even though their computer works. And two months after we replace it and get all the data onto, an, onto this new, high-end, expensive drive, the machine just dies completely. And they come back, and we have to replace it under warranty, and we're transferring the data. We say it'll be about three days. And at three and a half days, it comes by, and it's still transferring because it's a dead, fucked up drive. Now, the guy comes in, and he's a little, a little ticked. And he complains, and we apologize, and the junior tech looks at me and goes, wow, what a dick, as he's walking out. So I have to take the junior tech aside and explain him how this works. He paid a good amount of money for preventative maintenance, and it died in two months. He's earned the right to be a dick. He can complain, and I will listen to him. He can berate me, and I will allow it. He can bitch, and I'm not going to bitch back. He can leave a bad review and I will do nothing but reply with an I'm sorry we failed you. Because he's earned the right to be a dick through the circumstances. Let's move on to a different situation. Somebody comes in and they say that they need this machine done as soon as possible. It's late on a Friday and they show and we say it'll be done Monday or Tuesday. On Monday, we get a call where they're pissed off that it's not done. And on Tuesday, the guy calls demanding 50 bucks off because it's not done. When we said it would be done Monday or Tuesday, and we're hours away from completing the job on Tuesday. You can go fuck yourself with a rusty spoon. And if you do leave a bad review, I'll reply to it. I'll describe what went on. And if you come in and complain and want a discount, I'm not going to offer you a discount. And you can go fuck yourself because you're being a dick. You didn't earn the right to be a dick. Nothing bad was actually done to you. You're just being a dick for the sake of being a dick because you're just being an impatient dick. And this very much differs from the first guy. So when determining whether or not to give a discount, whether or not to go the extra mile for somebody, it's really important because everybody's going to be screaming, me, 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 because they're down. Something doesn't work and nobody to pay to get stuff fixed when it doesn't work. Again, you're not getting a shiny new car, you're not getting dinner at Olive Garden, you're getting back the same crap that you already had, just with less money in your wallet. So you have to think about this, because most technicians fit into one of two fields. They're polarized towards, are they blaming us? Oh, they're impatient. Oh, they don't want to pay. Blah, blah, blah. And they're just, you know, these old curmudgeons that just hate everybody. And, you know, they, they don't really give a fuck. They just want to bring the customer into their reality of how fucked up everything is and just have them appreciate the fact that they're even touching their computer. Uh, in the real world, that doesn't work. And then there's the other one, which is the, oh, are you 99% uh, happy instead of 100% happy? Okay, you're 99.5%. Okay, here's your money back. And I'm very sorry that we failed you. Why don't I just buy you a retina while we're at it? And just put, uh, you know what, while you're at it, let me just get down on my knees and suck. Like, no, that's the other mentality, and that's also very, very wrong, because, again, you didn't do anything wrong. You just weren't able to make that person 100% happy. There needs to be a middle ground, and my middle ground is this game, who's the dick? It's the same with supply. If somebody buys 10 screens with overnight delivery because they need them, and 9 out of those 10 are bad, who's the dick? Who's going to apologize profusely, regardless of how that person curses me up and down and screams at me and and calls me bad names. I will, because I earned it. They earned their right to be a dick, therefore I earned whatever it is I'm getting. Now let's say somebody needs something for a customer, and they live in California. They order it, one of this very popular part that they're going to use again, one of it, with parcel post-shipping, and it's bad. And I get a call about the bad part, and then they spend one whole minute explaining to me how slow your shipping is. I can't believe I've never had it take a week and a half for something to get here. Well, of course it took a week and a half to get there, you jackass. Because you decided to nickel and dime and save 90 cents on priority mail, which would have been there in two fucking days. Of course it's slow. Who's the dick? You. You fucked your customer. You bought that part with the slowest fucking shipping. You told them it would be done in a couple of days, and you bought one, knowing that every fucking day somebody's going to call needing this. You bought one with the slowest shipping. Who's the dick? 
Am I going to take back your bad part? Of course. Am I going to give you a full refund on the bad part? Of course I will. Will I send you another one? Of course. Am I going to give you any other courtesy? No. Fuck you. Because you're the dick. Who's the dick is a very good customer service mentality because it allows you to focus on the truth. There's that saying, there's my side, your side, and the truth. And it's very important to always try to look for the truth. It's very important to be pragmatic. As a repair shop owner, you're always looking about your bottom line. How hard it is you tried to make this person happy and how you failed and how they just don't appreciate you. As the customer, you're just never going to be happy because, again, you're paying two to four hundred dollars to get back the same piece of shit you had before. Anything short of this thing just working again and magically falling in your lap without anything falling out of your wallet is going to suck. So there has to be a middle ground. And it's important to not be the old curmudgeon. It's important to not be one of those, you know, new, fairy-ass customer service people who just thinks that if the customer's not 100% happy that you failed, either one of those is wrong. You have to have a middle ground. Who's the dick is a great middle ground. And this is great at companies that rely on common sense in their employees. This is not going to work at companies that hire a bunch of people at minimum wage and have specific policies. Because what they're doing is they're trying to take your situation and put it into a specific example that's in their rule book so they can reply with a specific solution. And I'm telling you, the cookie cutter approach works to Kmart, it works to a bakery, but it doesn't work in repair. It doesn't work in car repair, it doesn't work in home repair, and it doesn't work in computer and iDevice repair. It just doesn't. You cannot have a cookie cutter approach and get away with this. That's why most franchises that rely on some sort of centralized idea on how to run the business either fail or just never really make it out there and become impressive. Don't be a cookie cutter business. Try to focus on who is wrong. Always be open to the idea that you're wrong. Always be open to the idea that they're wrong. And really analyze the situation. Try to get rid of your arrogance. Get rid of your biases. Get rid of your personal investment in the situation if you're the one who actually did all this work. Just try to look at it from the outside in and look at who is wrong. Part of the reason that I think I've been able to become successful is because my customer service mentality is an of service mentality. Meaning I always try to be of service to the customer, while at the same time focusing on who's the dick.